Hi, welcome to SimplyScuba.com. In this session, we're looking at the Sunto Vitec dive computer. Let's take a closer look. Okay, so look at some of the features we've got here then. It's a wrist mounted computer, as you can see. So we've got a nice large strap, easily fit over the, the wrist of your dry suit or the wrist of your wet suit if you want to tighten it up slightly more. Nice rubberized boot just to cover the computer itself, keep it nice and protected. Also covers over the tops of the buttons as well, makes them a little bit easier to push, especially if you've got gloves on as well. Got a screen protector on the front as well, just to protect the screen underneath for any scrapes or, or bumps. A nice large display with nice easily readable digits, so it makes it really easy to read underwater. If we now take a look at some of the features we've got included. Okay, so some of the features we've got built into the computer system itself is air and nitrox compatible and also gives you the added extra of being able to switch between mixes during the dive which makes uh, life a little easier. It has an altitude adjustment on it as well so if you're diving above sea level you're able to set that within the settings and the computer can make the relevant calculations. It also has audio and visual alarms making it really easy to obviously alert you. Uh, it has a, also compatible with the wireless transmitter that Sunto offer is an optional extra, but you can then transmit your air uh, cylinder pressure straight onto the, the screen of the computer. Obviously, this cuts down on clutter. You don't need any extra hoses. It can all be wirelessly transmitted to the computer itself, which is a great little added extra. On the back, we do have a user replaceable battery, so you can replace that yourself, cuts down on maintenance costs. Also got a section for a PC interface as well, so you can transmit all the data stored on the computer to your PC, get some additional information like graphs and whatnot, and store all your dives on your PC. We also have a dive planner and simulator built into the computer as well, so you can be really prepared for everything before you dive. So we now take a look at the menu system actually on the computer. So take a look at the menu system on the computer then. First just note, there is usually a plastic cover which does cover the computer itself just to protect the screen, but we have removed that for the video just to reduce the glare and so you can see the screen a little more clearly. So I currently have it set up in its dive mode. It is a water activated computer, so it will automatically switch to this once you enter the water so you can be prepared for your dive instantly. What this displays is your depth at the top there, your dive time and also the water temperature. All other additional information is displayed in the centre of the, the uh, screen there, just within that box. Things like deco time, um, current dive time, bits and pieces like that, all displayed in there. We have three large buttons around the outside. Just have these plastic covers over the top, just makes it really easy to press, especially if you've got gloves on or anything like that. It's really e easily accessible. We have a mode button, a time button and a plan button. Pressing the time button on the dive screen just displays the current time in the bottom corner. The plan button will send you through to the dive planner. Now what you can do here is set your maximum depth just by using the time and plan button at the bottom here. You can increase or decrease your maximum depth which will then give you a no decompression time so you can be really prepared for your dive before you even get into the water. Pressing mode sends you back to the main dive screen. Pressing mode again sends you into a secondary menu. Again, using the time and plan buttons, you can scroll through the additional menu settings. So we have a memory setting, a simulator setting, and also a section where you can adjust all the additional settings within the computer. If we first take a look at the memory, pressing the mode button again, send you through to the memory menu. We then have logbook, history, and also a PC connection setting. So the logbook stores around 47 to 50 hours of dive time on here. All your dives logged onto your computer so you can check through them at a later date. Obviously this one hasn't got any uh, dives stored on it currently, so it is, it is empty, but you can scroll between your dives, again using the bottom button to just stores all your vital information from your dive. We then have history. This stores, again, all the vital information from your last dive. So if you do log your dives into a logbook, you can take your computer at a later date, go to the history setting and, and record all your, your details from your last dive. And then below that, we then have the PC setting. 
So what this is, is when you have uh, the optional PC interface connection, you connect your computer to that, straight to your PC, go to this setting, it then transfers all the details from the dive computer onto your PC, giving you extra information like graphs and bits and pieces like that. And you can also store all the information uh, from your logbook onto your PC. If then go back into the secondary menu, through memory, onto simulator. This then gives you a simulator menu, so we have a simulator for the dive and also a simulator for the plan. Literally all this is, is a simulator of the actual dive function itself, so you can really familiarize yourself with all the functions and settings before you even get into the water again, really preparing you for the dive so you don't have to worry about fiddling around with your dive computer, you'll be fully brushed up before you even get into the water. Back on the secondary menu again, we then have the set menu. So what we've got here, again, is a section of uh, other menus. We have set dive, set time, and also set preferences. Set dive enables you to change between your air and nitrox modes. Also set all the dive alarms and max depth alarms. You've got that all in there, so you can go in there and really fine-tune your computer. So here we have for the atmospheric, if obviously if you're diving above sea level, you can go in here, change all these, and that will then go through and adjust the calculations. Also personal settings as well, which just allows you to increase or decrease and finely tune the, the readings on the computer depending on how you dive. And also various other settings, the deep stop, So that's all your dive settings and all your dive modes. As you can see, it's quite a thorough computer. You've got quite a lot of features in there. It's nicely styled, it's also very, very rugged. It's exactly what you need when you're diving.